Today my students did an exercise called, this is for the birds. So this is the directions on how to set it up, and then this will lead into some live video of the students doing the exercise, and then I have a follow-up video. Brought to you by Curious Marineland. Now, for the birds, or this is for the birds, this is an exercise from the TIES organization, and th this is your basic directions. This is the student handout, and um, over here you get the materials. So what I'm going to do is just go over the materials and then finish with um, the handouts that the students fill out and so let's do this. Let's take a look at um, some of the different materials. So pretty much what you're using, we're talking about favorable adaptations, right? Or adaptations that help organism survive. So this is what each student is going to get. They're going to get a what we call a hard food and a dry soft food or you can say a dry and a wet. You can use a variety of ways of describing this. So these are the four beaks. Toothpick, fork, spoon, knife. And then you give them a cup They'll hold the materials to distribute, and I also gave them each a cup to represent their stomach. So at, next, they uh, this is it. So you can see that they place this into the, the cups. So this is what they got first. They put it into a cup. Then we did uh, we just pour all the food there. Here are the four adaptations, and then we do the the soft food, or in this you can also call it dry versus is wet food but or soft versus hard. There's a variety of ways that you can do this. So that's one of the things that we did and it's called again this exercise is, is called this is for the birds and so now what we're going to do is just going to take a look at me going over the directions with the students and seeing what happens. Uh, one thing I, I will point out you'll notice um, they're supposed to take one at a time but the reality is in nature the organisms will eat whatever they can as much as they can so that that's kind of there. You'll see students correcting each other for that. All right. Thanks for watching, and right now we're going to go right into seeing how the students actually did this. All right, we are doing an exercise <laughs> called This is for the Birds. All right, every student has a handout where they're going to record their data, and as you can see, we have the toothpick, the fork, the knife, and the spoon. They are all representing the adaptations of different birds. And this is the dry season where the food, less water, so the food is going to be harder. And that's what we're going to do. Next, we'll switch and do raisins to represent wet food or softer food. So what this is their utensil. This is their beak. They're going to pick it. They're going to try and pick it up. This cup is their stomach. All right, so we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'll be the timer for all the groups that are going. You have 10 seconds per trial. And then after each trial, you're going to record it right here. Are you ready for trial number one? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Ten seconds. Ready? Go. <laughs> Stop home. I don't want her. I can't. <laughs> Alina. You're Nine. Okay. So, uh, ideally, you're supposed to get one kernel at a time. Oh. I got more like five. You guys are just scooping, right? So, you guys, I did it right. Now, what you need to do is go ahead and record. You can only grab one. Got none. So, everyone, count what's in your cup and record it on your data table. I'm going to go ahead and pause while we count. Okay. Now, now we are. We're, this is our data for the hard food, or in this case, dry food. Notice which one of these two picks, which one of these adaptations was best suited, right? Yeah, I heard the girls talking that were doing this, like the one with this, and I said, I'm not going to live long. Well, that probably won't happen. And so the one that was able to consume is going to live and reproduce. So now what we want to do is do the, so that was the hard food. Now we're going to do the soft food, okay? So same thing, one thing I should point out in the first video, um, first part, you're supposed to take one at a time. Some of you are just massively scooping. So again, here is your here's your beak. And here's your utensil. We are recording. So remember that, people. Are you ready for trial number one? Yes. Ready. Set. Go. One at a time. Uh, what, oh, oh my God! Get out of my way. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Selena. Time. Oh. All right. You went one at a time and then you started scooping. We'll, we'll record the results. We'll, we'll record one. So.
right now the students are uh, turning theirs like counting theirs, and they're all trying to lecture each other and not taking more than one at a time. We're going to get ready for our third try. Oh, the gonna Well, now we're looking at uh, some of the results. Here's the most recent group that was underneath the camera. And so one of the things that we'll do with this is, so the class is gone, and one of the things, if you have time, you can do uh, collect data. And remember, the whole notion is these different adaptations, which ones help them survive. Obviously, if you look at the results here, it looks like the knife is struggling a whole bit. So let's look at some, another class data. This group, again, looks like from the hard food versus the soft food, um, the uh, knife was struggling the most. So that trait is probably a, a, the least favorable and the most favorable is going to be like the spoon or the toothpick um, for the soft, but for the um, it looks like the spoon was favorable in both situations. So remember, we're, when we're talking about adaptations, we're talking about traits that help organisms better survive. And usually there's the behavioral, the physiological, the morphological, and this goes with a handout that my students work on. So, All right, that's our This is for the Birds exercise. Brought to you by Curious Marineland.